Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Today, I'm very excited to share with you my Valentine's Day loaded envelope. For this project, I use this paper stack by Recollections. It's called Vintage Valentine's Day. And this was just such a beautiful paper stack. And I used primarily pinks and reds for this project. This is my loaded envelope, and I really, really love the way it turned out. Of course, the main focal point of this envelope is my Julie Netting doll, Tasha. I think she looks absolutely stunning. I took a paper piece her dress, and I really blinged her out with clear rhinestones. I really wanted this loaded envelope to be romantic yet glamorous and very sparkly. Behind Tasha I layered a number of different hearts. I had this light pink heart rosette. I purchased these at Michael's as well as this red um, doily ro rosette and then I layered this on top with some glitter foam hearts that I purchased at the dollar spot. Here we have a cute little heart and a little sign that says Valentine. In this top pocket here, I included uh, more of this uh, crystal uh, trim. And one of the things that you'll see once I emptied the envelope is that I made the pockets asymmetrical. In the first pocket, I had these cute little heart booklets that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, and I embellished them with uh, pink hearts and then exos that I purchased from uh, Michaels. And I just think this is just such a cute little notebook. I embellished a second heart notebook with a cute little heart and uh, rhinestone uh, trim. Isn't that pretty? I made this cute little enhanced clothespin. The clothespin was red glitter that I purchased from the Target dollar spot, as well as this red heart. This was a tag. And used the red glitter uh, ribbon uh, back here as and layered it with a white rose detail and some rhinestones. I think this is so cute. In this first envelope, this is more paper from the Vintage Valentine's Day collection. In it, I included a number of fun die cut details. I stamped out hello and red foil, um, love, I included these cute little perfume atomizers, laugh, and I also included these really pretty um, die cut roses. I just love the way these came out. And this die I purchased from Tuesday morning. I also included this really pretty uh, red gemstone compact. I think this is so pretty. It's very feminine and it was a perfect complement to this uh, Valentine's Day loaded envelope. As I told you before, I cut the pockets uh, in an asymmetrical format. I've lined this uh, first pocket here with more rhinestone trim. I made this heart wand and I really like the way this turned out. It says Valentine's Day wish list, love, diamonds, roses, and chocolate. And I have a cute little spray of uh, red roses over here. And then I included a Valentine's Day heart shaped box filled with candy. I used red lace trim that I purchased from uh, Hobby Lobby and I also lined it with more rhinestone trim. These are paper uh, straws that I purchased from Michaels and they've got the uh, dark pink, light pink, and these cute red foil hearts on them. This is more paper from the Vintage Valentine's Day paper stack. In it I included a number of glitter bows and pinks and reds. And I think these are a perfect complement to this envelope. On the front of this envelope, I spent a lot of time doing layering. Um, on the sides here, I used my Martha Stewart heart doily punch and I layered the sides of the envelope. I created a faux uh, cut out here that's uh, cut on a diagonal. And I included this beautiful white rose that I purchased from Michaels and I uh, included some uh, chunky sparkly glitter around it and in the middle I put this beautiful uh, pearl and rhinestone button that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I think that just 
uh, just really makes the envelope. And then I layered uh, this center up with a variety of satin roses, as you can see here. I've uh, incorporated smaller white roses on the side. These are puffy glitter roses that I purchased at uh, the Dollar Tree. Um, these are cute little sequin sprays and this cute little pearl sprays that I thought was a perfect complement uh, to the glitz and glam of this envelope. Here I included this cute little um, arrow uh, straw that I purchased from Michaels and I thought it was a perfect complement to go uh, on the front of this envelope. On the inside I made this really pretty uh, heart rosette. It's layered. It's got uh, light pink um, uh, rosette doily uh, in the back. Uh, it's got beautiful paper in the shape of a heart that's from the paper stack. And then I included this really pretty light pink um, crepe paper rosette and layered it on top with a smaller glitter rosette that I purchased from Michaels and then I die cut the love. I included these really cute pencils. Uh, I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. I just wrapped the top of it with uh, some washi tape and then I included uh, this cute little um, little trim uh, that I purchased. It's yarn and foil that I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot. And I included this cute little notepad. It says Happy Valentine's Day and the light pinks and the reds. So here's a closer look at the front of the uh, envelope. As you can see, all the detail. I love the way that it just kind of spills out of the top of the envelope. So this is the back of my envelope. Uh, at the bottom here, I have used a cut apart from the paper collection. It says, love you now and forever. And I have layered this on top of this back pocket here. There is a red um, heart doily that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, a smaller pink heart doily, and then this really pretty red glittery heart that I uh, purchased from the Target Dollar Spot. Here's a cute little arrow. I purchased these also at the Target Dollar Spot with the cute little arrowhead and the uh, painted pink clothespin, and it's tipped with pink yarn. In the back here, I've included some fun embellishments. I cut these all out on my Cricut Explorer Air. On the bottom here, we have a perfume atomizer with red foil cutout that says love. We've got another uh, atomizer here with a cute little uh, flower and pearl detail trim. And then you've got a different uh, perfume bottle here. And another one here on the top with uh, red glare detail. I made these cute little tags. This first one here has a little flower with pearl trim and then I added this little cray paper um, rosette uh, on the side. Here we have a circle tag here with the silhouette of a perfume atomizer and another flower. Here you've got another tag that's got a cute little foil key on it and I added more of the soft pink rosette cray paper. And then uh, in this corner here, you've got another uh, tag with uh, an image of a perfume uh, atomizer. And I just thought these were so cute. I also included this tag. And I just love this tag. I have a, another Julie Nutting doll featured here. This is Audrey. Um, I had so much fun with this tag. Uh, at the top here, I've used red glitter uh, tool and I layered it on a ink cardstock. And this paper here in the back with the hearts are all from the paper collection. I included these cute little uh, flowers with the pearl trim and then every now and then you'll see these uh, red foil hearts poking out. This is wood veneer uh, and it says my heart is full. I purchased these at the Michaels Dollar Spot and I covered it with my Spectrum glitter wand. I included a little uh, pearl trim for Audrey's necklace and I also outlined the trim of Audrey's dress with the Spectrum glitter pen and I don't know if you can see here I included a lace trim on Audrey's uh, dress. I punched out this love 
uh, and layered it here. It's also layered on top of several different hearts. You've got a, a glitter red heart. You've got a pink heart with a little fringe detail. And of course my signature little Shih Tzu. He is so cute. And um, I've included pearl trim on Audrey's shoes. This was certainly a very fun tag to work on. And this is what the back looks like. It's all fun Valentine's Day inspired paper. Well, this concludes my review of my Valentine's Day loaded envelope and tag. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.